and welcome back to Mainly Bricks. And I am so insanely excited right now. I just got what is probably the greatest Lego haul in terms of value I have ever got in my life. Uh, so I'm just going to give some backstory right now. So all the stuff that you see right now, I got on Facebook Marketplace, of course. I mean, that's, that's where I get my deals, you know. And uh, I got all this for uh, a very good price. I'll, I'll give it to you in a sec. Um, basically, I saw the listing. It was just two bins of Lego. I couldn't really see much. I could see some figs in there and everything. Um, so I just decided, you know, for like the price that I got it at, totally worth it. <laughs> and uh, I messaged her about it, the seller, and uh, she she responded back and she said she'd send more pictures the next morning. She could probably ship it. Uh, this is a massive box. <laughs> this was a 17 pound Lego lot here. Um, I'm still in disbelief that it's here. It's all set. Some of the stuff that I found in here, just a little preview, some of the minifigures, blew my mind. Insanely rare stuff. I am just so excited about this. So many minifigures that I've wanted forever. I just got right now. Um, so basically... 17 pounds. She sent me pictures in the morning. I lost my mind when I saw some of the figs peeking out of the pile. Um, it came with this just giant bag of Lego right now. Massive. I have also picked out a ton of Lego all around here. There's more over here on the floor. Just tons of stuff. Crazy stuff here. Um, and I haven't really even gone through this. I just went through and picked out all the minifigures that I could find. Like, there's just so much Star Wars stuff and you know, just... It's crazy, it's crazy. It also came with this uh, this uh, advent or calendar, which actually goes for about 50 bucks. I checked, all the pieces are here. Very nice, and this uh, this empty little Lego container. Um, so very cool stuff. Um, but the highlight of this is the minifigures. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what I paid for this right now. I paid 50 bucks for everything that you see right here. All of these parts, which I'm gonna build some sets, I'll jump to when the sets are all built in a uh, in a second. Uh, this, that'll probably be a couple days from now. I'll try and work on these. Uh, when you're seeing this video, though, it'll only be a couple seconds between uh, when I got this big bag and then a lot of work later. It'll be all sets. But I'm just gonna kind of show you some of the minifigures I've got right now. So we start out here. We got some. We got some sets. We got like the Lego Movie trash set. We got a uh, Sheriff Force Police Officer set. We got some little Star Wars micro builds. I think all three of these have the minifigures here. Very nice. We got like a Star Destroyer thing. I didn't see any minifigures to this in there, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll find some. I thought I pulled out pretty much all the minifigures. We got some uh, sealed poly bags here. We got a BB-8. Uh, this was like the uh, May the 4th promo sealed. We got a Groot, uh, Team Groot keychain. Uh, we got two Darth Vader pods, which are very expensive now. They're like 30 bucks each. Very nice. I'll probably sell one of these on my eBay store. That'd be great. Uh, we got some just pieces in random bags. We got a Bionicle. Looks like a Bionicle motorcycle. Pretty cool. We got a um, part of uh, the Cantina set from like 2015, 16. Uh, the smaller one, not the big one. We got a Cannon. This is a Clone Wars set. Uh, I actually have the minifigures to this set. I did not get the minifigures right now. Kind of sad about that because there's the very rare Captain Rex Phase 1. Uh, about 80 bucks now. So that's cool though. I got the set. I already had the minifigures to that. Uh, I bought the Captain Rex on its own. So very, very happy to have the cannon. Uh, we also got this little bad boy right here. Uh, it is missing some parts on this side. But this is the Speed Champions Bugatti Chiron with the uh, driver right there. Very nice. This is about 90 bucks, And I actually already have this set. I got it in another Facebook Marketplace lot. I got it from my brother because he really likes uh, Bugatti's. Um, but this is great, you know. I'll probably sell that. I'll make back all that I paid for this times two. <laughs> we had some other uh, Star Wars battle packs. I unfortunately could not find the Executioner Troopers that came with this one. Um, I did find one of the uh, minifigs there, but not the Executioner Troopers. So kind of bummed about that. I was looking forward to that when I found this. We got Samurai X without the minifigures. Bounty Hunter Battle Pack with the minifigures. Um, this set, which many of you might recognize as uh, parts to one of the worst uh, Lego Star Wars sets of all time. Um, but it does come with one rare minifigure, and it is here. All the minifigures to this set are here, which is amazing. We have this little small battle pack, uh, which 
I didn't have all the minifigures here. And this set, which I'm going to identify soon. Uh, but let's just go through some of these minifigures. This is where the value really starts adding up. Let's start up here at the top. We got the Bugatti driver. We got Greedo from that Cantina set. We got those, uh, the pilots that go to this little speeder over here. We got lots of troopers, lots of troopers. There's a Rebel Trooper Battle Pack with the, the ship right there. Very nice. I did not have that one. Another uh, battle pack that I didn't have. We got all four. We got some other troopers here. We got uh, Luke, Dagobah Luke with uh, Yoda. Bosk from the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack. We got Kylo Ren, Finn, another trooper. Um, lots of just minifigures. We got Finn and Rose from that AT, uh, the AT ST without head. <laughs> General Hawks, we have four long Plo Koon's droid. Very excited about this one. I'm actually going to put that over there with the good ones. Uh, we got, um, this is another one actually, uh, Admiral Akbar uh, from the Force Awakens. Th this was definitely a uh, 2016 to like 2018 lot. All of the minifigures are from that era. Um, some very nice ones though. Hans, we got uh, Darth Maul. Very excited about that one. Lots of stormtroopers here. Lots of First Order stormtroopers. I'll just zoom out a bit. Lots of good ones. Sith Trooper, more Rebels Troopers, Vistan, Cassie Nandor, uh, some some First Order down here. We got a uh, Skywalker pilot. We got a Skeet Guard, Maz Kanata, Han, Jay, Ice Cream, uh, Obi Wan. We got um, this guy called, huh? I'm forgetting his name. He's the uh, the Cantina uh, Woo Her. That's it. Uh, he's the Cantina bartender. Uh, I think this one is from the, um, I don't know its exact name, but it's the one from Tatooine that gets its head blown off somewhere. Uh, let's go over to the expensive minifigures, though. That's where it starts getting very good. Uh, let's start off here at the top. So we got uh, Admiral Ackbar and Cloak and Droid. Uh, this guy, actually, I don't, I don't know what he's doing. We got the, uh, the Stormtrooper um, Captain, maybe, from the Cantina set. He's worth about $25 because of his pauldron. It's very nice. Uh, I actually got a crazy amount of Boba Fett's in this lot. I'm um, very surprised. This is the uh, Skeef version of Boba Fett. He's about $25 as well. We got normal Boba Fett. Oh, crap. With, uh, without his pauldron, any of that. Uh, he's about uh, $20, $15 maybe without his pauldron. Uh, I haven't really checked on that. We got Qui-Gon, which isn't as expensive, but it's still nice. We got Jyn Erso from the U-Wing. Uh, she's about a uh, $30 fig now. Uh, we got Ayla Secura from the 2016 Republic Fighter Tank, which is an amazing minifigure that I've wanted for a long time. A Jedi that I really needed. I have her other Clone Wars version, uh, so super happy to have this version. Um, and going along with that set, we got the Republic uh, Fighter Tank Gunner. Uh, amazing. I, oh, geez, I keep on dropping. Uh, I did not have this figure either. One of the only clones I needed. Extremely excited about this one. Wow, just amazing. Um, over here, we got some other figures. I don't know why they're over here. We got Dengar, Clone Trooper right here. Very nice. Uh, we got a uh, Baze Malbus. He's about uh, 7 bucks. Not super expensive, but still a nice thing to get. We got uh, old General Leia right here. Uh, pretty nice. Nice, nice figure. We had a uh, Shore Trooper. We're starting to get into the better figures now with uh, with Jin and the, and the Shore Trooper. Uh, very nice. Very excited about this guy. This is the cheapest one. He's worth about $15. Um, very nice, though. Uh, next up, we got, uh, sorry, wait a minute, uh, <laughs> can't I remember her name, Captain, uh, Phasma, of course, <laughs> uh, this is the one from The Last Jedi with the, uh, pointed, uh, nose piece, uh, I kind of prefer the other one better, but he, any Captain Phasmas all good with me, very excited to have this figure, I've always really wanted a Captain Phasma, so super excited about this one. I definitely got a lot of figures that I've always wanted in this lot, so very happy about that. Uh, next up is uh, General Veers. Uh, he's pretty nice from the uh, 2014 AT-80. Uh, great figure, um, very nice. Uh, next up, we're getting even better. Uh, Lando, young Lando from the uh, the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon. A great figure. He's worth about thirty dollars. Very very happy about him. Uh, next up, getting even better. We got, from that same Kessler and Millennium Falcon, we got Quay Tolsight. And I did not know I was getting this fig. He was not in the pictures. When I saw him, I lost my mind. <laughs> He's about $60. Extremely happy to have this fig. They're all real Lego. I checked. Very, very excited to have him. So extremely excited. Uh, next up, we got 
Han Solo in his Mud Trooper outfit. The tings in the slot. The absolutely fantastic figs just keep on getting better. This is a very rare fig. He's about $35. Very nice. I love his uh, his poncho piece and just all his pieces. Uh, I'm going to have to watch Solo again after getting all these amazing figs. Uh, next up, also in that set, is Tobias Beckett in his, um, his uh, Minban outfit uh, right here. Uh, very nice. Another, he's by 10 bucks. And then, you know what comes in that set? The Minban Stormtrooper. Wow. Never thought I'd have this figure. Uh, <laughs> I'm just so, I'm just so happy about this. The Minban Stormtrooper, babies. Uh, he's about $70. Everything. His helmet, his armor just looks amazing. So I got all three from that lot. All three of the Minban Troopers right here. Just so, so fantastic. Really, really just awesome. So excited to have this one. Uh, next up is Sabine Wren. Without her uh, her head. I might find it later. So excited to have this because actually as a sneak peek, I have her helmet. I got it in a $20 eBay lot of a bunch of figs. Um, so now I have this full complete figure. I have uh, another head of hers, I think. So I can put that on it. Very happy about that. <laughs> I'm so excited when I found it. And her hair was there too. Just amazing. So happy. I have both versions of Sabine now and her helmet. That makes With her helmet, it makes it about a $100 fig. Um, and without the helmet, just this, it's about 20 bucks. So very nice, very happy. All right, finally, the best figure in this lot right now. You you, you wouldn't think anything would top Quay Tolsite or the Minban Stormtrooper, but no, there is a figure that tops it. I lost my mind when I saw this figure. I could not believe it. Uh, so these are all the good ones so far. Um, I almost died. Honestly, this is a figure that I didn't really consider wanting or because it's just so out of my range in terms of price. And it's just a figure I, I deem kind of like not super on my want list. And that is Boba Fett with arm printing. Yes, this is the figure right here. Boba Fett with his angry face or his, his special face and everything. In all his glory, specialized legs, specialized arm printing, everything right here. I I lost it. My my mom was going through this with me because I was getting excited about this when it came, and she was getting excited. She wanted to see me get some good stuff. She pulled this out, handed it to me, just like a Boba Fett. I had seen these two in the original description of the of the of the listing, the the extra pictures, um, and I was like, oh sweet, get some nice Boba Fetts. Those are pretty rare, you know. These two are about twenty five dollars each. I did not know there'd be a third, and this is genuine Lego. Like, this is the real UCS Boba Fett right here with arm printing and everything. He goes for about $150. <laughs> Sorry. I am just... I keep on dropping. I am just blown away by this. I can't believe... Like, the set isn't here. None of the other many fears from the set are here. It's just him. It's just insane. I can't believe it. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go through... Right now, I'm going to put together all the sets. I'm going to set up all these minifigures, and I'll show you guys all the stuff that I got together at the end. All the sets, everything. Uh, I'm going to show you guys that right now. We are coming back to you from like, uh, it's been like six days maybe. Uh, this took a long, long time. And I will say there was not as many sets as I thought there were going to be. There was like, like nothing. Like this, like compared to all the minifigures here, there are like no sets for these Star Wars minifigures. Um, it's it's very funny. And and all of these sets, most of them don't have the minifigures here. So it's just sets without minifigures and minifigures without sets. It's it's very weird. But I'll kind of show you everything that I built starting back here. Uh, also, almost every set here is missing pieces. There were a few that were 100% complete, but most of them are just missing a bunch of pieces. So... I'll start here in the back. We got this uh, uh, Galaxy Squad set. It's missing pieces. Uh, we got Samurai X. Missing pieces. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> um, also, these are all the leftover pieces. Man, fell again. Uh, over here, lots of them. Um, actually, there wasn't as many. That I, I used almost all the pieces to build these sets. Like, there weren't many left. So, pretty pretty happy about that, I guess. Uh, we also have the um, Captain Rex uh, cannon. This was actually complete. No minifigures, no uh, BARC speeder. 
but the cannon is complete, which is awesome. So very nice. Uh, we got a little rocket ship, which is uh, missing a ton of parts. <laughs> uh, we got this, which is missing lots of parts too. I have this set, this little helicopter. Uh, it's not built, but I'll get to building it eventually, my version. Um, I'll probably just keep this though, because it's not worth anything. Uh, cool set though, cool set. Uh, this set was very surprising, and um, I went to great lengths to make this complete. Uh, this is a, the uh, MIDI scale Star Destroyer, and I have another one of these. I have one, and uh, I had to steal like two pieces off it that I could not find anywhere in my collection. But it was missing a lot of pieces, this one from this collection, and I found them all in my other piece bins, and then I did have to steal two from mine. Um, but it is complete. I'm going to sell it. Uh, yeah, I, I listed on eBay, um, so very excited about that. Uh, we also got this awesome Ninjago set. This was the only set, I think, in this entire lot that was 100% complete with all minifigures, accessories, everything. Uh, super cool. This goes for about 60 bucks. Very nice. Nice little Ninjago uh, Jay's Dragon from Skybound. I don't have any Skybound sets, so pretty pretty hyped about that. We also got the Monkey. Uh, very nice. Uh, then next up, we got an Alien Conquest set. Uh, I've already got this one too. It's the uh, helicopter. Um, it was, it's a nice set. Uh, did not come with the cockpit piece. That's really the only big piece that's missing. There's some other stuff missing, like the bottom fins on the back there. Some pieces on the top rotors. Um, but if I can buy a uh, cockpit for that, that'd be nice. I'd like to make an alien uh, conquest display at some point. So that'd be sweet to have that. Um, but yeah, I already have this one. Um, but still, still nice. I, I'm not going to sell that because it's also very cheap. And, uh, yeah, uh, I just like to have it. Uh, next time we got a uh, Bionicle, uh, it's the Speeda Demon motorcycle. It did not come with the actual Bionicle figure, but it's cool. It's only missing like two pieces here on the side. Um, just nice, cool thing to have, I guess. Uh, I don't know. Pretty neat. Um, and then kind of in the middle, we got all three of the changeable Lego movie sets. We got the... The plumbing machine the plunger we got the ice cream and then we got the garbage one i've got the garbage one over here um and this one is they're all missing lots of pieces uh i think this one has the most pieces and then this one and then this one is missing a ton um but all nice uh, that's the only minifigure that comes with all three just one ice cream bag. cool to have i'll probably switch this one into the garbage truck not the big monster machine like that one so I'll have the garbage truck, I'll put that in the city, and then uh, that one can stay over there. So nice, nice set to get. Um, definitely kind of cool. Uh, we got a little Mindstorms thing. I don't know what that's about. Uh, we got this little Kai speeder that's missing a lot of parts. I already have this one. Um, I'll probably just keep it, you know. I don't know. I can't really sell these sets. They're not really expensive enough. I guess I could do a lot maybe with that one, that one. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that one and that one. Uh, I'll see, I'll see. Uh, but behind that we got this is actually 100% complete this little cantina piece and this one does have all of its minifigures I'm trying to find them down here uh, right there there's all four it does not come with the white pod though which means it's not 100% complete the entire set but this little build of the cantina is so that is one of my favorite things one of my favorite builds here uh, very nice very nice and we got the uh, Think Tank set. This section of it is 100% complete, but it's missing all the other parts, like the couch, the little TV area over here, all the minifigures. Um, but it's just nice to have. I guess it'll it'll go well on my Lego movie display over here. I'll put it probably in the back. Um, but still, still pretty cool. Uh, we got a little police set. Uh, it's missing a couple parts on the maroon truck. Um, but I think... Robert officer minifigure the police car very nice little police set uh, kind of cool but then we got all the star wars micro builds we got all the battle packs actually i'm sorry there were these two and this one and this one no not this one just these three are 100 percent complete with all the minifigures so that's awesome uh, we got the little re resistance battle pack we got a first order battle pack uh snow speeder micro fighter uh expo dameron polybag x-wing ATDP polybag, Wookiee gunship. I think this just fell off somewhere. I thought I found it, but I, I don't know. It was complete a second ago. <laughs> uh, this um, solo battle pack, uh, pretty nice. We got a first order resistance X-wing, and then 
the uh, Executioner Battle Pack. And then we got parts to some other Star Wars sets. We got parts from the Dagobah Luke's Yoda's Hut um, training set. We got parts to the Sand Skeef, um, which the minifigures from those two sets are here, but not the actual sets. Uh, then we got a bunch of poly bags over here, which are great. Uh, also, we got this from the First Order ATSD, which came with the minifigures, but uh, all this is all I got from the set. Um, but just lots of poly bags. We got accessories right here for the minifigures. Non Star Wars minifigures in here. There's not many. I did actually take the police officer out and the astronauts, and I had the sheriff for that set. Out. And a couple of the other ones, like the Ninjago one, the ice cream guy. But that's that's it for non Star Wars. And then we got the Star Wars minifigures, which is just is crazy. Like this is someone's entire Star Wars minifigure collection right here, and I got it all for 50 bucks <laughs> this is just such a rare collection actually these are all the ucs slave one minifigures back here i did get them all including that sweet sweet boba fett with arm printing uh no parts to the set though kind of bummed that would have been very nice 500 dollars set would have been nice uh we got this uh uh battle on naboo set duel on naboo we got a star destroyer micro fighter uh tie striker we got resistance transport with those four we got that Resistance Battle Pack. We got the uh, the weird Last Jedi Walker Crawler thing from Crate. Uh, we got a, another ATST uh, from Rogue One. Uh, we got the First Order Battle Pack. Got an ATAT. -AT. We got Ray Speeder. Uh, that AT First Order ATST right there. Uh, the Jedi. Or not Jedi clone tank, the fighter tank. Uh, those four right there. We got the, the uh, solo Tie fighter. Those three. Dagobah Luke's uh, Yoda's hunt. Um, this guy is just from a random first order Tie fighter. No other minifigures from that set. We got uh, Lando and Quay Tolsite from the uh, Kessel Run Million Falcon. We got the minifigures from the Cantina. The minifigures from the Sand Skeef. Uh, the minifigures from Battle of Takodana, which actually I had some of the parts for over there. And then we got that uh, Solo Speeder, Ch or Wookiee from the Wookiee Micro Fighter. Uh, this one is from the Executioner Battle Pack. Snow Speeder Micro Fighter, just two. And then these are random ones that I got, just some random Stormtroopers, Snow Trooper, Sith Trooper, Boba Fett. That Boba Fett's actually pretty nice. Uh, we got a sand or a, um, a desert, uh, what's that called? Sand Hopper, something like that, pilot. Uh, the ARF Trooper with that is helmet. Uh, we got droids. We got R2-D2, Plo Koon's droid, uh, the Astromech on uh, Tatooine from the Sandcrawler. We had a Super Battle Droid with broken legs. BB-8, a rat from that, that is probably a Womp Rat. And then we got a little, uh, one of Moloch's uh, little guys, and then Han and Carbonite. So very nice overall for Star Wars minifigures. I actually have already sold the minifigures from the U-Wing uh, and the minifigures from uh, Kylo Ren's Thai Silencer. All those are already sold. Very nice too, though, some expensive ones. Um, I, I mean, I've already sold a couple sets from here and made back uh, all the money that I spent times like three, I think. And also for sale over here, I've got the Bugatti which I'm selling. Um, that's nice. All, both these are 100% complete, and then the Bounty Hunter Battle Pack. So those two should sell soon. That'll be about $100 for both those. So very nice, very nice lot here, though. Pieces, sets, sets that I'm going to sell, sets that I've already sold, minifigures that I've already sold. All of these ones, though, I'm keeping for sure. These are all going into my collection. Amazing, amazing minifigures here. So excited. Some crazy rare ones, like the Boba Fett, uh, there, there, you'll probably see him in my updated top 10 Star Wars, most expensive Star Wars minifigures, which will be coming out soon at some point. I've got a lot of new ones, so very excited for that video. If you like this video, um, please consider subscribing and uh, like the video, comment if you got any questions, and I'll see you guys later. All right, peace out. Bye.